Good morning. It is filled to the brim and it is Friday, June 26. And the Holy Spirit has spoken to my heart and has said, there is fire in your night. There is fire in your night. And you know, the fire of God represents the Holy Spirit's presence. And we are to be aware of his presence, even in the dark times, even when we feel like we're going through something where it feels dark or that we don't know what's going to happen, uh, which expresses what a night can feel like. We can't see very clearly, at least in the physical realm, but the Lord says there is fire in your night. This is a word for somebody today. I feel so strongly about it. And the Lord always gave to his people fire in the night. Psalm 78, 14 says, recounting Israel's experience in the desert and all the night with a light of fire. Psalm 78, 14, and all the night with a light of fire. Every night, the Lord made sure that his fire was present with his people. His fire was present every night with his people. And God had given this pillar of fire to Israel to reveal a few things about him. You know, in the ancient world view, the fire actually represented love. It wasn't to be feared. It represented love, passion. So when the fire of God was present at night with Israel, they felt the warmth of the love of God, the passion of God for the people. And it's, it was like a nightlight, so to speak, a parent putting a nightlight in the room saying, I am here. I'm available to you. I love you. And so it's important for us to see that when God is saying there's fire in your night, he is confirming my love for you. My presence is there for you. The fire also represented protection. The fire in the night pre represented protection. You know, it's interesting because if you look at the story of Israel leaving Egypt and the Egyptians pursued Israel wanting to take them back into bondage. It tells us in Exodus 14 verse 24 that the pillar of fire put the Egyptians in a state of confusion. That was why the enemy was defeated because the pillar of fire put the Egyptians in a state of confusion. Now this is what the Lord is saying. In your night, my fire is going to confuse the enemy and defeat him. My fire, my Holy Spirit. That's why it's so important for us to be full of the Holy Spirit, welcoming the presence of the Holy Spirit in our night. Even though our nights can be uh, difficult, they can feel depressing, they can feel, you can feel overwhelmed in your night. The Lord says, keep your eyes fixed on me and my presence. I put the enemy in a state of confusion because of my fire. See, the enemy does not understand the fire of God. And, and the Lord says, my fire protects you. The other thing that God's fire did for Israel and does for us, it revealed God's voice. He speaks to us in the night. We are not alone. He is not silent. He speaks to us in the night and he wants us to hear his voice, to receive his direction. This is what the scripture says, Deuteronomy 5, 24. And you said, the Lord our God has shown us his glory and his majesty, and we have heard his voice from the fire. We have heard his voice from the fire. In your night, the Lord wants to speak. In your night, he wants to give you direction. This is a key thing about his fire. He wants to speak your name. You are not alone. You are not to be confused. He wants to give you direction. Remember Moses? How did Moses receive his assignment? How did Moses receive direction? He received it from the burning bush, the bush that was filled with God's fire in Exodus 3. And God called out his name, Moses, Moses. See, the Lord says, my fire in your night is my presence and I'm speaking to you. Will you look away from your circumstances? See in that scripture in Exodus 3, Moses was shepherding the, the sheep and the fire was burning over across the way. 
And the Lord, when, when the Lord saw that Moses looked away from the sheep to the fire, that's when he spoke. The Lord says, look away from the physical circumstances. I am speaking from my fire. I have things to tell you in your night. You are not alone. I'm going to give you direction. I am going to be with you. Just like he said that to Moses, I am that I am. I will be with you. I will be everything you need to go through whatever you're going through. I am that I am. And that's what the Lord says to you. My fire is present and I am speaking. Finally, you know what else the fire in the night revealed? God's glory. God reveals his glory through his fire. Exodus 24, 17 says this, the glory of the Lord looked like a consuming fire on top of the mountain. See, God's glory is revealed in his fire. Scripture also says, this is what the prophets say, about God's fire for the, according to his people. Zechariah 2.5, And I will be to her a wall of fire on every side. I'm not going to stop being my fire, the Lord says. And I will be to her a wall of fire on every side. And I will be the glory in her midst. I am the wall of fire around you, and I'm going to reveal my glory to you. Yes, in the night. Do not be afraid. I am present. Do not be afraid of the night. In your night, God is there. Hear his voice. He is speaking your name. He is calling you in your night. Don't look at the circumstance. He's calling your name. He's saying, my nightlight is there. My love is present. My power is present. You're not to be confused in your night. You're not to be confused. Who's going to be confused? The enemy is to be confused in your night. If you're feeling confused, you're looking at your circumstances. Look at the fire of God, the fire of God that should burn in you because the Holy Spirit's presence is in you and he is the fire of God. And in his presence, there is his voice. In his presence, there is love. In his presence, there is his power. It's all available to you in your night. And he is saying to you, I'm going to show you my glory and I will be to you like a wall of fire around you on every side. And I will be the glory in your midst right in the middle of your night. I am there. This is a word for you regarding your life right now. Pray about it. Ask the Lord about this word. I love you. God bless you.